Hello, my name is Josh Parker, and I'm going to be teaching the real-time visual effects for games course for CGMA. I've been a VFX artist in the game industry since 2006, worked on a lot of games from mobile, VR, and smaller console games to big AAA games like Mortal Kombat 11, Darksiders 2, and a few Star Wars titles. Currently, I'm a visual effects lead at Bungie working on Destiny 2. I love what I do for a living, and I'm really excited to get to share some of my experience with you for this class. Over the course of eight weeks, we're going to be building a variety of systems. In week one, we'll be building a dynamic spark system, learning the fundamentals of movement and timing, as well as things like particle events from collision, optimization, and how we can create templates from these effects. In week two, we'll be building a system for blowing winds and using exposed parameters to give us art directable controls for when we place these in the world. Week three is all about fire, smoke, and embers for that fire and then learning a bit more about Embergen and what it can do for us as an effects artist. Week four, we dive into set dressing, taking all the effects we've made up until this point and dressing a level, keeping in mind things like player decision-making, telling a story with our effects, and how we can guide the player through our world to where we need them to go. Week five is all about character interaction effects. We'll be building a footstep system that lets players interact with physical materials in the world, as well as a substance designer graph that lets us generate entire libraries of unique physical material variations with a single input. In week six, we'll be building a weapon visual effects suite, including muzzle flash, projectiles, impacts, and variations based on what your projectiles might be hitting. We'll also learn how we can build a system for testing our work. We're not always gonna be in sync with design or animation, and this lets us work ahead without waiting for that to come online. In week seven, we'll begin exploring player special ability effects and learning about the variety of things that we have to consider as an artist, not just about how to make them look good, but other things that players are going to need. How to make them feel good, how to make them performance friendly, how to keep accessibility in mind, and how to avoid photosensitivity issues. We'll wrap week seven up with in-depth feedback on the player ability special effects that we've made, and that'll take us straight into week eight. How to deal with feedback, how to address feedback properly, how to receive it, and how to best portray professionalism as a visual effects artist in your work. In a professional environment, there's a really delicate balance that we have to work with the amount of time we have to make an effect and the quality level we can produce in that time. By working smarter, we get to maximize the amount of time that we have. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. I hope you've found it inspiring and come join us in class. I look forward to getting to meet you.